Hey everybody, it's me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a haul for you guys. This is some diamond paintings that I got in the mail. There is one, two, three, four, five, six of them. This is an Etsy purchase that I made for my junk journal and some books. So yeah, grab a drink and a snack and enjoy the video. So I did purchase some stuff over the last month and it wasn't a whole lot of things, but it was enough for me to do a haul a little bit. And I think I got some more books, but I don't know where I set them. Oh, here they are. I already colored in them, that's why. So, sorry about moving the phone here. I've, I do film on my phone, so in case you guys are wondering what I use, it is a Galaxy S23, I believe. And I've had this phone for a long time, so that's what I use to film, that's what I use to upload. I have a tripod that I bought, and yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the books first. The first book that I bought is Celebrate the Seasons by Deborah Muller. This came a few weeks ago. I did color two pages in it already, and I'm not going to show them because I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, I've been really feeling um, the Deborah Muller books lately. I've been watching Misty's videos and... Um, she is Country Gals Coloring Place here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. But she's been really um, convincing me to get some more Deborah Muller books. and So I picked up two more. And this is one of them. The next book that I got is Valentine's Day Mystery Mosaics Color by Number. This is, I think, Sun Life Drawing. I remember right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but this is one of the mosaic books, so the, all the images look like this until you color them. And yeah, I did do the first page, so I will give a sneak of that. Looks really good. I like it. Not something that I am normally used to coloring in, but I like it. So I used my glitter gel pens, which made it a little bit easier. Okay, the next book I got is Stained Glass, large print coloring book. I believe this is Jade Summer. Lots of flower images. And yeah. I did color one in this one already too, so. Next one I got was a highly asked for one. This is Hunter Designs Doodle in Color by Such and Such Devo. I am not on his um, mailing list, so I purchased this myself, and I really like it. It's a very thick book. Lots to choose from. Definitely worth the money if you can get it. Haven't colored anything in it yet. It just came in the mail. But I am looking forward to coloring in it, so. 
there is a couple flip throughs online if you guys would like one definitely leave me a comment down below but yeah this is 100 designs color by number by Satch and Satch Deva The next book that I bought was Easter Eggs by Pratchy Dewan Satchdeva. I love her books. I color in them a lot. And of course, I had to get this one because it's Easter. It's a little bit thinner than Satchin's book. But nothing too disappointing. My sinus infection is feeling a little bit better. My antibiotics are kicking in, so that's good. I'm just still really tired, and yeah, I'm just resting this weekend and not doing anything. Very cute. Her images are just cutesy and thick and dark. And I like it. So if you're into really thick, dark line art, she's definitely one to look at. Um, Pratchin, or I'm sorry, Sachin is also one. His books, I know they're together, but yeah, their books are really nice for those of you that have hard seeing or just like coloring thicker images. And that's what I like to color. So of course I recommend that one. The next one that I got is Mosaic Animals, black background, color by number. This is by Sun Life Drawing. Um, this one, I don't remember. I think I just saw this on Amazon, and I like these ones, so I had to pick it up. Very cute. That one's cute. Oh, I like that one. I've been really into like wolves and coyote type images and Native American style stuff so that's kind of what my mood has been lately. The next book that I got is Blooming String Patterns Black Background by Color Questopia. This is the cover of it. It looks very pretty. I love it. I'm never disappointed with Color Questopia either. They're always tried and true. Their format is the same. I love their images. There was a while there to where when I would get the black backgrounds, there would be lines like this really bad in all my books. And so that was kind of irritating to deal with. But I think they've gotten better. Very cute. So yeah, that is Blooming Spring Patterns. And the last one that I got that I didn't realize I didn't have was 50 with the Miniatures by Camila Angelkova. Didn't know that I didn't have this book. I thought I did. I was looking everywhere for it and didn't see it. So that one's cute. Just, uh, I love her images. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's adorable. Oh, he's a little tree. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Harley. Harley. Stop it. 
That reminds me of like the Hobbit house. Cute mushroom. That one's adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, she needs to do a 50 mushroom miniatures. That's my idea. I'll pitch to her. Okay, so that's 50 woodland miniatures. And my diamond paintings, I all purchased these on Amazon. Let's open up the first one. You guys will notice a pattern. I like birds and Oh my gosh, this one's pretty. So this one's kind of long. That's a peacock and that is gorgeous. Here's what the drills look like. I'm going to keep them all together so I'm not going to open the drills up. I don't want to lose everything. Definitely looking forward to doing that one. My style of diamond painting is like, I like birds, nature scenes. And butterflies and like, kind of fantasy stuff. So this one is a house. And that's what this one looks like. And that's what the drills look like. So there's this one. Set that one over here. one. I don't think I'm going to open these ones yet. I think I'll do these in another video. I don't want to open them all right now. Oh yeah, this one is a flower page. And that's what it looks like. And here's the drills. Lots of kind of blues and grays in this one. But yeah, that is going to be it. Oh, and then my Etsy one. I will show this one. I just got some vintage sheet paper and stuff from an Etsy store. For my journaling. And this has a bunch of little stickers. Seal that. It was one of the bundle ones. But yeah, just some stuff in my journal that I'm working in. I'm not doing any of those videos online, 
So if you guys would like to see that, let me know because I do have a journal. But yeah, that is my haul for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell if you're new. And leave me a comment down below. And let me know if you're new or not so I can say hi. And if you have a YouTube channel, let me know so I can subscribe to it. I always like to see new channels and meet new people. So anyways, have a great weekend. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.